during that summer she was working as a camp counselor with children at Grinnell Regional Medical Center and the kids there absolutely adored her so on July 18th of 2018 she was staying at her boyfriend's house in Brooklyn Iowa she also lived in Brooklyn Iowa but she was staying But 
she was a little bit older than your typical new police officer. I don't know exactly how old she was, but, you know, probably in her 30s, maybe 40, I'm not sure. But anyway, they felt she had some life experience, at least. So, she goes in to talk to him, and she's very nice, and talks to him in such a way that he grows to feel comfortable with her. And he tells her that the reason he is seen on that tape, driving back and forth, was simply because he thought she was, he thought Molly was hot. And he had gone back to take another look. So, this police officer went in and out of the interview room very frequently to get more advice from the other police officers on what to do and what to say. And by the end of about 11 hours, he finally confessed. He said that he saw Molly when she was out for her run, and he approached her, and she started fighting with him, and she said she was going to call the police, and at that point he claims that he blacked out. He does not know what happened, but when he finally came to, he found her in his trunk seemingly dead. So he took her to a cornfield and he dumped her body, covered it up with some corn leaves, and left. So he agreed to take the officers out to the cornfield and show them where the body was. And sadly, it was found that the body did belong to Molly Tibbetts. On August 21st of 2018, the police made an announcement that a body had been found. And on August 23rd, an autopsy proved that it was Molly and recorded the death multiple sharp force injuries and ruled the death a homicide. DNA tests showed that her blood was found in Rivera's car trunk, but they never found the murder weapon. And on August 22nd, Rivera was charged with first-degree murder. The judge raised his bond from one million to five million because they felt he was a flight risk. Now his family hired him a private team of lawyers. They were a husband and wife named Chad and Jennifer Fries. And on September 19th of 2018, Rivera pled not guilty. Now it took a while for the trial to take place because of the pandemic and other things that also got in the way. 
scam. 